We're gonna to talk today about the importance of clear expectations. So how often are you frustrated by what others are not doing? And our work with leaders, and if you're like most people, you probably fit into this, this happens pretty often. So often the biggest gripe that most folks have is around things that aren't getting done when someone has been assigned a task or when someone thinks, wow, that's, that's obvious, or I assume they would do it and it hasn't gotten done. In our work with leaders, we help them dig into this a bit more to discover what's happening and how they're contributing to this situation. The cost of poor expectations can be really high. Oftentimes this means targets are missed, um, perhaps quality problems are coming up and customers are dissatisfied or they're even returning or canceling orders. Uh, it can mean late nights worked, it can mean uh, quarterly numbers or targets aren't met. And there, there's a lot of bad things that can cascade from this. First and foremost, though, is we often feel frustrated. We're often disappointed. And we often are working to solve things ourselves when if we were using better communication tools, we could do more through the activities of others. Expectations are how we as leaders communicate specific actions or activities that we're wanting and expecting others to take in order to support the business, pure and simple. Where a lot of leaders start to run into some problems with this is that they say they, they don't feel right about telling others what to do. It's really important that as a leader, you remember that part of your job includes directing the activities of others. That's literally part of your responsibility. So that's one thing to help you with. The other thing is that when you don't do that, you're creating problems not only for you, you're creating problems for your team members. Team members often really appreciate being told what to do in very clear terms. And when they don't get that, they're often wondering or grasping or making assumptions or guessing, and that can be frustrating for them as well. So by doing this, you help yourself and you help your teammates stay on track with the most important things to get done. So the biggest problems around expectations typically break down into two areas. One is a lack of clarity, and the second one is assumptions. So let's look at a lack of clarity example first, and this will probably resonate with a lot of you. So let's say you're in a meeting with several other leaders to work through a problem around logistics. Things aren't getting where the company wants them to go. So you and several others sit down and someone says, well, you know, we should, we should talk to our three big carriers and, uh, and see what the options are. People say, yeah, that's, that's good. And there's a lot of harumph, harumph. Yeah, all right, right on. And the meeting breaks. And then nothing happens. Or nothing happens fast enough. So that's a pretty common example of when people will get together and say, well, we need to do this, or we should do this, or we have to do such and such. And they're not being clear about what the activity is and who has it. So let's take that craptastic example, flip it on its head, and let's go something a little bit stronger. So if you were in this meeting, because you're gonna use these tools in, in strong, powerful ways, you might say something different. And it could sound like, hey, Phil, as the logistics manager, will you please check with our three biggest carriers, find out what the options are before noon today, and then bring those to this group. Let's have this team meet again at two o'clock this afternoon because this is an important thing for us to figure out immediately. How does that work? So now you're laying out a very clear path for Phil, what he's expected to do. You've got a who, Phil. You've got a what, talk to our three carriers, find out what the options are, and you've got a when. Do that today by noon. So you're immediately assigning very specific tasks to somebody so that they know what to do and what success looks like. The second way that expectations can get a little fuzzy is if someone assumes something is going to get done. So I may think to myself, well, gosh, it's obvious that this step or this activity is a part of this task, so I don't say it out loud. When we're first working with people or when we're working with people in a new or different situation or even a high stress situation, that can be where it's really important to lay things out very specifically. Don't assume then, 
be sure to say it out loud so that others know where you're coming from. So let's use that previous example of Phil calling the three logistics carriers. I'm assuming that Phil knows what to ask about or that he's remembering because perhaps Phil's new or perhaps this is an unusually difficult situation and he may not be thinking as clearly as he normally is. So if there's an assumption in there, I could clear that up pretty clearly and here's how it might go. I may know that our product requires a temperature controlled environment when it gets transported. And I may think, well, Phil knows that. I also can say out loud, hey, Phil, please be sure to ask them about temperature control options since this set of products does require that during transportation. Now what I'm doing is instead of assuming that Phil has remembered that, I'm stating it very clearly so that he can say, yeah, thanks, and he'll hopefully make a note to help him stay on track with that piece of it. So now what I'm doing is I'm removing my hope that Phil remembers this piece or that he's going to do this activity, and instead I'm saying it to him very clearly and directly. So how can you help yourself stay on track with this? A couple of simple things. Number one, if you're assigning a task, be sure to assign it. Don't be apologetic. Don't be wimpy in how you're, you're asking someone else to do that or assigning that for someone else to do. If you're unsure if someone has the ability to execute a task, ask, don't guess, don't assign it and say, make this happen or else. They may have lots of other things that are on their plate where that isn't gonna work. So say, hey, please do this by this time. How does that work for you? What could get in the way of that? Now you're having a better conversation so that you're not just throwing something out and not checking to see what's realistic. Second thing you can do to help make sure that assignments come through clearly is to be very cognizant of your language. Sometimes we'll use words like, well, we need to do this, or we have to do that. That's not clear. Who's got the action? What is the action specifically, and when is it due? If you don't have a who, a what, and a when, you're probably not giving a clear directive or creating a clear expectation for someone else to fulfill. So I hope this helps folks clear up some things and it's a simple tool. It's also one that we find leaders often will accidentally create problems for themselves and for the team members down the road. So work with this. Let us know in the comments below how this is working out for you or what else you would add to help clarify your expectations with others.